Okay, good afternoon. It is October 12th at one o'clock. Bring this meeting to order. Um, let's see, roll call. Brisbane? Here. Bob Rowe. Addison Houston. Here. Anna White. Here. Ed Schroll might be late. I'm not sure. Um, maybe he's going to zoom on. Give him a second. Lisa Scott is not here today, our council liaison, but we do have Scott Anderson. Hi, Scott. I don't know if anybody knows Scott Anderson. He is our uh, city administrator um, who is filling in for uh, Robert Mann's position, who was a city engineer until they can find a new one. Um, Sarah, is there That's any way you can hit that screen? <laughs> Thank you. You were in a different app. <laughs> Thank you. You might be wearing a hat. You are wearing a hat. Is that God? Is that your city um, engineer hat today? Yes, yeah, my official city engineer hat. Correct. Yes. Okay. All right, I cannot design a. I can't design a bridge without it. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Um, let's see. Approval of meeting agenda for today. Do I have a motion to approve today's agenda? I'll make that motion. Second. Second. Great. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, approval of the September 14th meeting minutes. I need a motion to approve the minutes. I move to approve the minutes. Okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. The <clears throat> September 14th meeting minutes are approved. Okay. Let's see. Um, announcements. Well, Robert Lund is no longer with us, so Scott is filling in. Um, other than that, I don't I don't have the announcements. Does anybody have any announcements? Is Rob not with the city anymore? No, mm -mm. oh. no, he he has left um to pursue a job with the state. Oh, okay. Uh, I Great. my bad. I forgot to announce that at the last meeting, but I said. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I thought it was staying with the city, but I didn't know. Oh, no. Okay. I think it was with the DNR. Oh, so. no. great. Did it say he's staying in the Ocean Shores, though? He'd be still going to live here. I think yeah. it's a remote position, but he will be, he'll be missed. So, um, okay. Do we have any public communications? We didn't receive any via email, and there's nobody online. Uh, we do have one. Right, Carol, do you uh, have any comments? Nice talk. <laughs> you could talk for three minutes. I think that we need to be concentrating on making North Bay Park our signature park. Okay. When we first moved here 22 years ago, we joined a group called ACT, Action Committee for Tourism. And we used to put on lots of events over there. We had paddle the shores, we had city picnics, triathlons, and it was kept up. It was a nice green grass. It was a nice thing. And at that time it had pavement. And now I know it's been fixed, but it's been fixed with gravel. So that's not a bicycle friendly park to ride your bike into, and we're on bikes a lot. So um, it's got a bathroom. I think that could be fixed, but I really think there must be grants out there somewhere. And I just would like to see you concentrate on making that a beautiful downtown park again, like it used to be. Because that's I think that's one that's used the most. We see people there all the time. And then we went to what's one of the parks that that park that you are in charge of looking at? I went with you. Texmar. And that's a mess. There's, you can have about this much of an area to get in and out of the water that's just overgrown. So we plan to tackle that when we get back. But, and, you know, weeds and stuff, it just needs a lot of work. So that's my comment. Thank you. Old business. Uh, so first up is the skate park. Um, as uh, we feared, was that the repair would mm -hmm. have to be Sorry. oh the uh, bid would have to go or the repair would have to go out to bid. So um, we have to. We, Jenny Belcher worked with Bob Rose. Um, very closely and making sure that when it did go out to bid, it listed everything that needed to be done. So thank you so much, Bob, for helping her with that. Um, and she sent it out to four 
or companies, she told me that uh, one states that they don't do above ground, one states they don't repair but only do new steel ramps, and the other two showed interest but bids are not due until 3 p.m. tomorrow. So we're waiting to see if they get submitted or not. So we haven't have until sorry. 3 p.m. to. Um, no. I, I, I want to put them you might want to. <laughs> okay. May we can I, hear you talking, Scott. I don't think you're on mute, but you. So. I have a question. Yeah. Are those two who may be interested? Could you tell me who they are? Uh, she didn't. Okay. She didn't tell me who they were. I'm sure she probably could. Was Grindline only doing below ground? I don't know. Okay. She, th literally, that's the email I got. That was it. She didn't tell me which company was below ground, which company was only steel. So I. I'm sure she could probably tell you which two said no. Um, Is there any uh, recourse and next steps if there are no bids made? Well, I asked that question and she, there really wasn't an answer. So Scott, do you have an answer for that? If What happens if we don't get any bids? Okay, I can. And what is the criteria for bids? He's not a Scott. No point. <laughs> That's your punishment because you didn't mute yourself. <laughs> I, I know I got people walking in and asking questions about everything. So what I need to know is what was the amount of the bid? Uh, what was the price range? Was it 12? Um, when I submitted the bid, it was about 7,400 plus. Um, I've got it here. 74, whatever. Sure I have it here. Um, and, and what was the closing date? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Let me let me do this. Let me after this meeting. Let me call Jenny and see if we've got anything yet. I don't know if that was enough time, but we can always extend it. That's normally what we do. She felt like that was going to be enough time, but here, uh, um, well, I have the bid right here. I'm just not seeing where the dollar amount would be. No, no. Okay. Now that I now I remember I remember now. So yeah. Um, let me let me do this. Let me let me after this this meeting I'll call Jenny and I'll see if we have bids today but if it closes tomorrow that that helps well we don't have any bids I did ask her so two she sent it up to four people two said no and two showed interest but they haven't submitted their bids but we have until tomorrow at 3 p.m okay all right. all right let me see what happens then after tomorrow because we often get them the last day that's right. not unusual so has been asked is what transpires if we get no bids do we have to put it right back out or is there other recourse? Well, there's two things we can, there's two things we normally do. One is we'll just extend it. Like we'll put in a new thing with an extension and that's the most logical things. Cause oftentimes what we'll do is we'll call the contractors back and they'll say, well, we just didn't have enough time to submit it. So we'll find out if that's the case. Um, and then if, if that's not, and then we still don't get bids, then I will have to ask Jenny what we do in that case. Okay. Good. Are you good with that, Addison? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's where we stand. Anything else on the skate park? Anyone? Before we move to the next one. Okay. Uh, North Bay parking lot is done. Um, so I think I can take that off of our list going forward. Um, Carol, to answer your question, uh, you're right. It's not conducive to bicycles. The reason the city decided to do that is because of the maintenance piece of it. So when they had asphalt and the asphalt cracks, and which it does quite often, it's more expensive to repair. So like Chinook's boat launch, they wanted to mimic this boat launch, or they wanted to mimic North Bay's boat launch like Chinook. So when it does need repair, they just have to put some gravel in and put over. Um, there, you're right, there are things that if, People wanted to do a an aqua bike event. Let's just say a, a duathlon, duathlon, duathlon. Do never say that word. Um, there are some rubber mats that can be placed down so people can run and bike onto those. There's some things that maybe we can place over it if we decide that at some point a company wants to come in and have another event to host those things. But I don't foresee the city anytime soon. You know paving asphalting that no um, just the, the maintenance community clubs their parks are all paved mm -hmm. I, 
Right. I understand that. This is just caught. Well, the beauty club, you know, they received dues from dues. Yeah. They got yeah, a lot yeah. of money. But so, they, but they seem to hold up. Yeah. So, I know. I understand that. But maybe ours mm -hmm. just don't hold up with all the boats going on there and the trucks. And, and you have to remember, we always go out to the lowest bidder, you know, mm -hmm. where they're more private. They can afford to pay somebody of a higher quality, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to John about the cost of putting in asphalt. And I see no reason why we can't do asphalt in the future, providing you get the runoff correct and all that. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, as she said, we're we're kind of running second fill around here to um, the community club. And I don't think that's what should be happening. Right. We need to spend the money where we need to spend the money and not cut it short. Um, that was our signature target. It should be again. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of things going on. There was soccer tournaments all the time, baseball, tennis, which is gone. A lot of things and yeah. a lot of boat users as well. But I don't think that the idea of boat launching would be a deterrent or a factor in degrading a good coat of three inch asphalt. Go out to the pause facility, have you been out there? Yeah. You see their asphalt out there? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And it's holding up beautifully. No reason why we can't do that. I just think that's something we need to look for in the future. Okay. Okay. So Chinook toilets, you know, just so you know, that's still part of what we asked for for the next buy-in and budget. The city council still is not. I think they haven't even had their meeting yet. To just right? No, nothing. So no, nothing's been discussed or not discussed. That's not. Uh, approved yet for the next buy-in budget. So I think that's probably gonna happen in maybe November, maybe. Same with the dog park. Um, that's still, that's part of that buy-in and budget. Um, the Chinook playground equipment is also part of that buy-in and budget. So we'll just keep our eye on those items for sure. Uh, the goat head removal at North Bay and Chinook parks, I'm proud to say is happening the first applications tomorrow. So the parks will be closed tomorrow, um, probably till late afternoon because it has to dry. And thank goodness we're going to have some nice weather. So that's going to work out fantastic. Yeah. And then the next application will be in spring. So that will. Do you want me to update that on the Facebook page and say the parks will be closed tomorrow? Yeah. For that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Should she make a note that that is a bio-friendly product. Should, absolutely, but the MSDS sheets will be present at the park as well, I believe. They have to post that. It's posted. So, um, so that's exciting. Get rid of those goat heads. So thank you to the city for doing that. Thank you to John mm -hmm. Wagner for, for his work on that as well. Okay, anything else on those items? Before? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I do some research on the playground equipment for Chinook. Yeah. Uh, have you looked at over all the different proposals? Yeah. And uh, did you come up with a personal preference? Because mm -mm. uh, I did talk to the company, ask them about what prep they wanted to use, or what, what did you use for the ground treatment? Have you come up with a product that you prefer? Are you talking about like the mat system, yeah. the rubber systems versus? Well, versus like carpet. Okay. Um, carpet seems to be preferable versus mats because the mats are in sections and they tend to, when the ground moves a little bit, mm -hmm. you have to put them on either concrete or, or asphalt. That's the only base that they can go on if you're going to use tile. I, you're not talking carpet like like carpet in a house, you're talking some other product. Talking a special carpet for- Okay, like, are you talking- Playground carpet. Okay, yeah. all right, right. When you talk to them, did you specify the look, that means they didn't really come up to the point that we're ocean shores and that our ground, um, water comes up in our ground as opposed to not a lot of these other cities and towns, their, their water, you know, the water comes and goes into the ground. Ours actually can come up from the ground because we have a high water table, way higher water table. So I'm just kind of questioning would the, would that play a big part in that? Because it seems to me that we've got it coming from both ways. Well, actually putting it on crushed surface with carpet and a pad underneath would be a preferable thing because it allows things to move a little bit, whereas tile does not. 
-hmm. and tide would be very crucial with talking about the water issue. So I didn't know what you guys had in mind. I, I didn't know if you had looked that far, but I think I thought that uh, Robert uh, had you offered this as a study, so that's mm -hmm. what I followed up on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we were just getting some rough estimates and bids so we could at least let city council know that you know it's gonna be it's maximum of well, you know 175 <laughs> versus you know another playground structure might be you know 105. But regardless of what structure we get, the ground has to be, you know, it would be the same material. So the one bid for 112, which is a really good proposal, mm -hmm. would not include the, the ground prep. Mm -hmm. And that was from all structures, or right? all from that right. So there was two. I think all play was all one play. that was all inclusive. All was that, yeah. So there are. So I'll play had they had two different models. Yeah. So, they, so they, you, they, so the 112 did not include the swings either. Landscape structures was the one that did not include the ground cover. <laughs> no, so, like that. <laughs> but we can wear the other bid. Um, but I think in choosing even a company looking at long term maintenance, we, it's so going to be. If you look at the grid from all play, it says installation of tile over asphalt or concrete. Mm -hmm. So that's not part of their. In other words, the ground prep was not part of their grid. Right. The playcraft systems, playcraft, which is the all play systems, playcraft, they did. Their proposal did include, but we can go back. Two landscape structures and add them to include that. We just need them to do that. Well, if I'm looking at the bid right here, mm -hmm. if you look at this page, mm -hmm. it does it say exactly right. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say anything about ground prep. We'll just have line it a line yeah, item you and then add it. You know, yeah. we just didn't we didn't ask them to do that. This company all play just did that on their own. And I sure where, that where's it in here? I don't see it. All play? Yes, I got it right here. They, they were the ones that added that in, right? I'm just pretty sure. Uh, this total, the total is 113,000. Mm -hmm. And it's the second line. It's right there. Bottom. It's a rubber playground tile. But you see that over asphalt or concrete. Yeah, so we'd have to point. Right. That, 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 all right. That's not part of the bid. Well, because they wouldn't do that. The same either time. one. Either one would do it. It's the same as the other. Right. But. It answer your question though, Bob, you were saying that this company, one company gave us the bid for tiles, and that is correct. We didn't, the other company, we didn't, they just put this in. We didn't ask them to do that. Right. We would need landscape structures to give us a bid for the material, but, but we would do the prep work. The city crew would do the prep work. And so that would include if we needed to to put the concrete down. Correct. Yeah, I'm, I'm clear on it. Oh, I'm very clear on it. You just want to establish that a bid system. You just want so you want I have to the landscape put... structure to also give us a bid for the tiles. Well, I, they don't. They prefer not to use the tile. Their preference was to go with with, with the, the carpet. Carpet, especially in our application. Right. That's the landscape. That's why I was mentioning earlier. Okay. Is that the tile is not really a good solution for our location. Okay. That's landscape, not all play. Well, no, the landscape, yeah. Yeah, well, we can, I mean, I can reach out on them and ask them to. Isn't there a change product that has like um, like rubber chunks? Yeah. Are mm -hmm. we considering this more for the fact that we're concerned about a long term maintenance? budget so we're trying to find kind of a one-time fix it for the longest amount of time versus getting something that we would have to set aside a yearly maintenance on like those little rubber chunks or the cedar chips or there's something because i mean reinventing the wheel if you look at the at the community center we kind of always seem to kind of go back to them and what they're doing they have the cedar chips mm -hmm. kind of thing and it's beautiful year after year well, and it works so well and it drains and yeah. all that so my instant thought is, well, yeah, they have the, the dues to continue that up. And oh, we have no budget for anything and we haven't for years. So maybe that's why we want a one-time fix. 
kind of going with what you're saying in the carpet or the tile or the all of the above put together or is it because of the fact that we're concerned that we can't update it once we do it well certainly the chips are a good alternative yeah you can always add more chips yeah and you know, some people would use sand put a sandbox next to their playground sand gets in the tile gets on the equipment mm -hmm. so we don't want to do that and we don't need a litter box we got enough sand without we that. don't need a big litter box that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> just saying <Bob> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just want to do it. We're going to do it right. All right. So we'll just get the bids. And... I think chips are user friendly myself. But it would have to be yearly maintained. And then we'd have to continuously work on that and always have a budget set aside for doing that yearly. Um, where maybe going another route would be a, something we could hold on to five years or seven or 10 or whatever the life of it would be before we have to come back and fix it again. I'm curious if the. Uh... Uh, public works or the road maintenance if uh, in that yard I mean they have to deal with all the windfall every year from trees do they chip that up and is there a source of chips that they already have you can't necessarily use it have to be a treated chip because those kind of chips when they degrade they actually bring in bugs they bring in fleas they hold in a lot of that so it's um then they're done that bad mistake um so that's not the same kind the ones that they use for that it's actually a different kind and it's okay. got a chemical treating kind of a thing to it so that it doesn't Rotten in a sense like that. Makes sense. Okay, so number two, the parks comprehensive plan. So um, we've got together a couple of times and worked on the edits. Um, the one thing that was brought up was was it section five point two that we wanted to talk? No, it was not. It was five point. I think it started at five two. Well, I think it changed to that. Other trends affecting your analysis, open spaces. Yeah, yeah. was it that one? Yeah, because it's like, yeah, this goes on for the remainder of this chapter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before right. it gets to the parts that just. Here, why don't you? So, you were... section 5.2 of the existing plan includes a bunch of additional trends that are just anecdotal reports that are included. They're not really relevant to how a parks plan would be utilized. Um, so, it's just kind of an open question of if that section can just be removed in its entirety without having to go through and just redline the whole thing because it's it's not. A lot of this is citing things that are no longer relevant or just don't really apply for the purposes of a parks plan. Um, Has the board given the committee, you know, go ahead to be our voice as far as, you know, we'll trust you, the committee's take on it? I think so. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I guess that was all then. Um, yeah, we just moved to then uh, pull out that, and then the next one would, or the next section would pick up on 5.3, which is documentation of existing park recreational facilities conditions and deficiencies. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Thank you. We made a motion. Okay. All right. Second to remove the 5.2. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. We'll remove section 5.2 from the parks comprehension. Yay. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely making some progress there. So that's that's good. Easy when you have to just take out. It goes a lot smoother. I think it's Wedding Gazebo Park. Huh? Is that a, I don't know. I don't know. On this last page, there's a park called Wedding Gazebo Park. I've never heard of that one. Anyway. Is that that company that comes out and puts a gazebo right by the jetty? Is that considered Wedding Gazebo Park? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, what? There's a there's a company that used to come out and put a gazebo up and right right there at the entrance of the jetty on the water. All these years yeah. I've never seen. How did I never see that? Or even hear about that? Okay, okay. Not happening out of the jetty. Let me tell you. Well, if that does come back, I want that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I really have to see it. <laughs> Uh, the youth summer program. So uh, the YMCA came out last week and met with Mayor Martin and myself to talk about potentially 
um, establishing some kind of a summer activity um, for a week um, or whatever it looks like. And so it was just a general talk. Um, it would, it's not all day, um, it's a certain amount of time. It's just not one park. What they like to do is they try to limit transportation because transportation is a huge cost. Mm -hmm. So utilizing our parks. So um, North Bay Park, Chinook Park, just trying to pick parks where kids can walk or it's just a very short drive to, to the parks and doing um, the activities there. Uh, they provide a snack and lunch. Um, they definitely work with the school district. Um, oh, the other park mentioned too is maybe Milo Schneider Park because the the um, uh, it's at the Lions Club. Lions Club, yeah, utilizing the Lions Club kitchen. Um, but we'd have to ask the Lions Club anyway. So um, it is city funded. Um, they do a lot of learning activities out there. They coordinate with libraries. They coordinate with the CIC, just like. You know the STEM program does the summer fun program, but it's it, but it's different. Um, so what they are going to do is they are going to come up with a list of questions. They're going to they're going to give us a survey that we are responsible for sending out to our community to see if they would be interested, if if the families would be interested. And I said that the parks could absolutely help with that and getting that out and how we distribute that. Um, so, the, like I said, the, like two or three different sites. Um, the other was to maybe partner with the community club as well, maybe to utilize their um, pool. And so uh, they were going to reach out to the community club and see if they would be interested in helping partner. Um, so that's that's how that ended. So they were coming up with a list of questions, and once that happens, they'll I'll send that out to everybody. And, Maybe we can brainstorm and get that out. But it was really promising. It was, it was great. They were fantastic. Do we have a date on when they're gonna? Yes, uh, end end of October. But this voice now. Mm -hmm. That's good because this is the time we need to be working. Right, on. because before you know it, it's next year, and before you know it, it's yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So that was that was great. So we're yeah. gonna keep talking about that. I know the last time they did it before the pandemic, um, they utilized the elementary school <laughs> cafeteria, and then on the huge playground in the park and the you know the ball field. Exactly. Lots of parking. Right. And then also um, even though yeah. North Beach School District, um, Pacific Beach <laughs> is part of that. Um, they would just do something out there that wouldn't, you know, include the city of Ocean Shores. They would just have something up at Pacific Beach Elementary School area for them. And that's kind of where it gets a little convoluted. <laughs> but Who, who's, who's thinking about spearheading that? Would that be? It would be the Y. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They, they kind of organize it all. We just, that's awesome. Guys, I mean, yeah, it's great. Yeah. That but the professionals do that. <laughs> yeah, let them do all that. Yeah, they do. So, um, so that, I mean, that was really, that was exciting. That I didn't have good. any new business to discuss. So, um, so next, um, the Northeast Grand Canal Outreach Program. Did anybody come to that open I house? Did. I did They're not. Crazy. I was in here. How was that? Very well done. Okay. I, I have pictures on my phone. Oh, I went in the car. Okay. If you want to see them? I'll go get them. That's okay. That's okay. I think I think their presentation, the uh, concept, looks great. Okay. Of having utilized that entire area and seeing what how it's changed since we were first here. Mm -hmm. um, that's the best solution, I think, for what we have available. I'll say I think that what they're looking at is different proposal according to the grant availability. Right. But I think it's going to be a great thing that be if we could get that thing moving, plus the high dunes trail, this place could really come alive. Yeah, agreed. Um, yes. That same group is actually going to be at City Chats in November. Too. That was the one I was okay. Thank you. Uh, city. So, what the City Chats is 
first Wednesday of every month. And it's at 4 p.m. at the convention center. And they'll be they'll have all that same for anybody that missed it during the day at their last one. So at four o'clock. And yeah. who's gonna be at City Chats that week? Do you know yet? Who's uh the same two women that were here. Okay, great. Amanda and okay, and then so as far as count do council go to that or just they go as um audience the council does okay but it will give like a kind of not just standing around but like a sit down ask questions um, okay kind of go over different things but they said that that was really successful what they did they got a lot of input from the community and a lot of it was stuff that they already knew so it matched kind of what they had put out there and the surveys and stuff mm -hmm. is better response. are they going to consider that their second meeting? correct okay because yeah. when we were talking to her she said that they were going to have a second meeting, but she didn't have a date yet. Yeah, they they do two community outreach in this phase, and that one here was one of them, and then city chats will be the second. And okay. you said that's the first Wednesday of November. Correct. I think November. That's going to be. Um, uh, November fifth is Saturday, so I think it's the. Um, the first Wednesday is the second. Okay. Yeah. November second. At four o'clock at five. Four o'clock, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's exciting. And that is recorded. Oh, also. So. Oh, okay. Can you zoom into that? You cannot. No. Um, it is recorded by North Beach Community TV, however, so they'll put it up on their YouTube page. North Beach Community TV. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so all right, that's and we will help them any way we can get whatever they need out. So well, I remember one public comment at first um, city council meeting was a gal that said that's way too much money to spend on a park. That's what I, I remember that. Well, yeah. she did not understand. This is just a, right now for the concept and wouldn't be a lot of money in one of those some because it's going to be tied to different projects within that scope. So she was, I know I was at that meeting, but it, she was actually out of place. I, I questioned her about it later. The fact that grants would be available and they would also be selected for individual projects within that scope of the whole thing. So I think, you know, it's a, it's a win-win thing if we proceed with it. Curious who is responsible for writing those grants at the city? Mm -hmm. You know, city have a grant writer? Yeah, full yeah. person. Center person. Getting back to city grants, some of the playground equipment that showed up was brought in by a grant from a person on the park board when I was on the prior. So there's no reason why we can't write grants. So, so the city can only be, the grant writer can only be directed by city administrator or mayor to approach those ideas. In this case, I think that's already taken care of. But for example, if we wanted to have this playground equipment for the connection up, mm -hmm. we could probably apply for grants for that. The, the problem with that bad. is though the grants, most of those grants that are like the RCO grants are every other year. So we're, we could be past that grant opportunity. Um, and I, you know, we've asked for, we, it, it, it's going to be outside of our, our our timeline, and I don't want to delay this, in my opinion. Well, and Scott can speak more to it also because you have in your budget request to council if they approve it, yes. you have playground equipment. Right. If we budget for something, it's really hard to get a grant, mm -hmm. and Scott mm -hmm. can talk more about that. So um, there's just a lot of moving parts especially if you're budgeting, like even for that one part Chinook that you're doing, right? if it gets approved. But no, but going forward with some things, absolutely, I can just agree with you that we could look at some grants that are later down the road on things. Sure. Yeah, and yeah. you know, the Lions Club is looking at that right now um, for the park in, in front there. And sometimes they have some advantages over the city in applying for those type of things because they're a nonprofit. Um, so that could be another way to go, but that's good to know because even though the, it, the Milo Schneider is the Lions Club Park, it's we still are yeah. 
that part it, so that's good to know and i don't really have a contact for the lions club or the park sport doesn't have a contact I, i'd be happy to forward that to you that's not a problem yeah so maybe that yeah maybe we can have him join or she join a meeting and give us an update on that that's great well and like what scott's saying because they're a nonprofit, you guys just started a non-profit for your partner mm -hmm. so there's nothing saying that that couldn't go out for a grant right right exactly how many people are on the lions board lions club board do you know the board itself i don't know you'd have to ask jeff moyer that question he's sort of he oversees it uh and it is a little tricky with that lease because technically um uh, though the city, the park belongs to the city, um, the lease requires that the Lions Club provide and maintain and update the equipment. So it's a little different than most other uh, relationships that we have, but that's that lease has been in place for a long time. Yeah, we learned that about the slide when we took the slide out and then they had to put the slide back there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But he was saying that they thought the Lions Club was down to like two members. It was at one, about two years ago. It was very scarce. I don't know what it is now, though. Well, as long as they're thinking about our park, I mean. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else on the Northeast Grand Canal outreach program? So, like November 2nd is the date. Uh, anything in general to report? Um, I don't think so. Um, nothing from me, Anna, to anything general to report. Not park inspections, just general to report. No. Are we getting any feedback on the Facebook page? Not really. Um, I think people more, kind of what I'm getting the, what I'm getting the feel for is people tend to go more to the pages that have um, a lot of gossip and a lot of things going on <laughs> and the so part a good sign well i mean yeah i guess in a way yeah but the people it, it's the facebook page is just kind of we don't really have a lot of yeah. input for strong things to report necessarily because we haven't really have anything that's concrete yet and so people just uh, it's it's growing slowly but no if, I, if we had something juicy to throw on there i think people would come to it and it'd get a little bit more fast around I think Kristen please we'll get some feedback on this train <laughs> well that's i'm getting i'm already thinking okay i'm gonna have i'm gonna write this one over you know <laughs> i think it's more informative i think it's it it's is more of an information page than it is to complain page but we just try just trying to keep the parks out there for people to have their access and have them. facts yeah. and i think you know we, we've actually discussed some things that we've seen on some of the other pages that were you know a little bit of the uh the a little, the, the little yeah a little feisty and, and and we've said we've talked about it and said hey should we address this on there but then it's just kind of getting into it we decided that it's just better to just I always agree. put the facts yeah. it's clean it's direct you know what you're getting and that's that um yeah. i mean we could probably blow it up if we and the other route, but I don't think that's a good no, idea. We don't, so it's not poked that there. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to write it back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And the parks are a friendly place. I mean, they they are. Exactly. people are happy at parks. Uh, Chris, anything just general to report? On my two parks? No, not okay. the park no. inspection. Not the, not, not. Okay. Um, Ed is not here. Um, Addison. Uh, nothing to report. Okay, and Bob, anything? I have I have a future um, goal, and that is to create a park on the Grand Canal at the, um, it's kind of a diagonal to the boathouse, you know where the boathouse is? Mm -hmm. Where the electric boats oh, are being? Yeah. Okay, there's a proposed park there. It's a triangular kind of a shape, high shape, that was proposed as a park years ago. Is that on the Mount Olympus? Yes. Mm -hmm. I would like to see that in the future developed. It would help for boat launch, would help for regulatory reasons as well, give signage and such or control and whatever. Also, it could be utilized for extracting weeds if they do decide to do mechanical harvesting. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to, I have a friend who has a drone that could get an overhead picture of it. It's well overgrown now, mm -hmm. but yeah. I think that would I be a future, future goal. And uh, also, I mentioned this before, you, you took out a survey 
to find out input from people. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned an aquatic center on the water. Mm -hmm. I'm a user, I'm a boat user, and I don't know how many folks here are, but uh, I believe that we could utilize a youth program eventually down the road. It would be wonderful to go with the summer retro program. Mm -hmm. uh, we never had that opportunity before, but I think, well, North Bay Park is a possibility. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that we could create some mentorship for youth that we're not offering here in town. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to look at a long range plan that would encompass things like stand up paddle boarding, mm -hmm. um, sailing, mm -hmm. kayaking, rowing, all those things. Mm -hmm. Isn't that part of the uh, Grand Canal's vision? Part of that? Northeast Grand Canal. Yeah, Northeast yeah. Grand Canal's yeah. vision. Yeah, so. Um. I, mean, I think we talked about that before. I would have significant concerns with the harmful algae bloom if we're going to start increasing the recreational contact with our waterways because our waterways are not safe right now at all for people to be in contact with that water. There's significant blue-green algae blooms constantly in there. And so Whereabouts are you referring to? Duck Lake, Grand Canal. Oh, All the canals. Well, have you been out there today? Yeah, well, I actually live on the canal. Still. Okay. Well, yeah, we're outside of the yeah. season, but we're in winter now, or we're coming into winter where people aren't going to be in the water. Well, I know it's it's that thing comes and goes. Change. Uh, yeah, I'm aware rapidly. of that, but there's not but we enough, can't like, that active deterrent. monitoring. No, it's not a deterrent. It's just if we were going to increase that, we would have to take on that liability of actually maintaining an active monitoring program, which there isn't enough of right now. No one's going out there and posting adequate signage for when there's harmful algae blooms. To it's, increase it's, already that been posted. it's already posted. Infrequently, it's not constant. And there are several and times. It's just put up and left up for well, until the sun. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. And when I heard you, if I heard you correctly, what you're saying is you have a future goal to make Mount Olympus um, into this, the, the across um, off the little park, the pie shaped park off of Mount Olympus as a personal goal of yours, or is that something that you're saying as the park department, we should try to make it into? I believe that, that should be as a team. Okay. But I just, this is a vision I've had. Okay. And vision is what we need. Right. I, well, I agree so, with that, but I'm just saying, is it something that you're starting to spearhead and, and kind of going to do? Or is this something that we're bringing up now that is something we should all start talking about and start putting some effort or time or energy towards? Um, or is this something that you're just kind of doing on your own and and in six months or whatever, we're going to hear that something has started up? That I guess I'm just trying to define that because I didn't understand. You said that you had a goal for this, but then I'm then you're talking about what we would be responsible for. So I'm I'm unclear what that line is. Well, I'm I'm a little concerned. I understand you're talking about the, the algae, but if we're going to look at algae as a constant problem, then we might as well just walk away from everything in the water. No, I don't it's want to see that be active treatment okay. of it. So well, the problem is we don't we have a circulation problem. Yeah, and uh, flow is is lacking, especially in the summertime. So. No, I think that this is a long range goal. And I think it would be something we should consider. As far as the Olympus Park, it would be a great place for launching kayaks as well. You know, there's one over the one that I'm, that's my goal right now is to fix up the Techmark Park. It's in very bad disrepair. But I think that we need to have vision and move forward because I don't want to look at the proposal like you're saying that. We have to worry about algae all the time because we're going to do that, and nobody can lose the waterways at all. It's not that so we I don't think I don't think you meant that, but I think I'll, there's liability with not having adequate monitoring right now. The city does not have adequate monitoring in place to effectively inform the public when the periods of harmful algae bloom are occurring and when it is safe for recreation in those waters. That yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah. And I'm saying that based on my experience, because I work with public health department in King County, and we actively have those programs in place. We do not have those programs in place at the county or at the city level here for that to be an appropriate thing to be directing children to come into contact with that water. That raises concerns, unless that's paired with a broader water recreation monitoring program. But any public, any public, yeah. any, any public, person. or even dogs, animals. I understand. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I guess my thought process is, 
we are just now starting to get momentum to at least talk about the parts we already have you yeah. know at yeah. least just just this much can we just move forward this much on the parks that we have now can we get a yearly budget to maintain what we have now can we start improving what we have right now and the thought to me is sticking one more iron in the fire and adding one more park to it right yeah. now especially one that is going to be so involved with the fresh waterways and all that it's going to take there it's not something i would ever say oh my let's just add that in right now and that's what i was asking is this a personal thing that you're going to move forward on your own with or is this something that we're going to start taking on because to me right off the bat i think oh my goodness we barely got an inch ahead on what we're doing already besides adding the new one in so that was where i'm at with it all right so Let's just, um, Lisa Scott is absent today. Uh, she's a council liaison. She's absent. Um, Scott Anderson, sometimes Robert has some things to report. I don't know if you do. It's, oh, you're muted. No, I'm sorry. I was not prepared to do that. I wasn't quite sure what his role is. I thought I would just sit in, but if that's what you would like me to do in the future, I'm happy to do that. No, it, it, no. Uh, if there was something that he wanted to talk about, he did. Sometimes he would just sit in too. So okay, it's, it's whatever. Um, all right. So park inspections, Chinook and Spinnaker. Um, Chinook getting sprayed tomorrow. Super excited. So that's going to be closed for the bulk of the day. Uh, Spinnaker. Well, that's just a, a dear frenzy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Can I just ask a question? Yeah. Okay. The, the parks that they're going to spray. Um, I always thought that the goat heads showed up when the ground wasn't watered in the, in the dry grass is where they start growing. So if they're going to kill the stuff up, things off, are they going to start watering those? They areas? do water them out. There is water out there. Okay. And so for some reason, they came in. Once, you, once they're there, they're always there regardless. Water doesn't kill them. You have to kill them mm -hmm. to, to get rid of them and then water them to keep them away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's been um, a confusing little fact, so, uh, but yes, so that's what's going on in mine. Chris, you have North Bay and Lindette. North Bay, they did take the water fountain out. Okay. There's a cone where it used to be. Are they going to replace it? Yes. Okay. It was, was it not working properly? Is that what it's... I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes those, it didn't work. Sometimes those run, I know, because I know Chinooks was running a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And they do have no parking sign all along the street mm -hmm. great for tomorrow because it says 10 13. Mm -hmm. and i actually drove by emerson because it was on my way to north bay and there were there were a couple of ladies sitting in their lawn chairs on the tennis courts <laughs> like sunbathing <laughs> no, it's pretty like green outside. or something i don't know if they were having a meeting <laughs> but it's like that's an interesting place is it but uh Anyway, and then uh, Limpet, it poor little park that it is. I, I was thinking maybe we should sell it for for the value of the land yeah. and uh, and let somebody build a house there because it really is just a lot, you know. Yeah. It's pretty small. It, it's the, it's it, really it's, small. it's a city lot. I mean, it, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. It seems really small though. It is a small one. Yeah, I don't know the dimensions, but my eyeball would probably say fifty by. Gosh, maybe yeah. 200. Mm -hmm. So that's all good though? Yeah. Okay. It's... Perfect. All right. Anna, I'm ringing you in South End Grand Canal. It's all fine. Nothing new. They're, they've been utilized all summer. They're looking good. Yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not here. Um, Addison, North End, and Gunderson. North End is looking good. Uh, and Gunderson has been well maintained by the community. No issues there. Um, yeah, probably going to get the geese again, so make it report of uh, a lot of poop again. They're okay. flying south. I heard like five oh, different. What? Yes. <laughs> yesterday, just yesterday, there were. I mean, I heard five different flocks of them. They were all <laughs> and they're up in the fog. It was like day before yesterday. It was Tuesday. Uh, Bob, you have Texmar and Emerson. Yeah, Emerson was okay except for the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like to drive down. That's, 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 that's a It's an awesome show. It's a great park. Huh. That, there's so many yeah. here on that. Tech Mart, we're going to handle that when we get back next year. Um, 
Should we um, coordinate? Should we talk uh, with? Um, talk to John. Talk to John about it. Yeah, and what about um, the uh, fresh water ways? Why do we want to use them? What's wrong with some of us? No, 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 there's nothing wrong. Are they are they doing things? I mean, fresh waterways I know has been pretty active. I know they're getting new count, they're getting new members yeah. next month. I know they're they're really pushing forward on yeah. really starting to put a lot of energy into getting the waters cleaned up and getting really established and strong. Yeah, since all the stuff is in the water, it's right? A huge work party that this yeah, next this Saturday. This Saturday, this Saturday. We yeah. posted it on our website. Um yeah where they're trying to solicit volunteers to come and help and learn mm -hmm. because the group that's been handling it is aging and they want to, you know, teach. They're bringing new people in next month yeah. to onto the, onto their board and they're, they're really, they're really putting some energy out there. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, good things might be coming from them in the yeah. future. Um, but other than that though, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I know that Texmar does have a picnic table. They have a little and, wind break there. And a wind yeah. break, yeah. And that is that pretty overgrown still? That's not too bad. It's okay. it looks like someone stained it one time. Uh huh. Kind of a reddish brown. Uh -huh. Okay. And that, that looks okay. Be, yeah, but it could be up, you know, could be touched up. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we just have to let John know. I mean, but I know there's one one branch in the tree growth that's on the south. Side that okay. I'll, I'll, I'll cut that off and get it out of there because it's broken down and still attached. So okay, we can just let John know to take care of that too. True. So I'll I'll tell John to stop by there. When are you guys heading out? Okay. Uh, All Do right. You know who owns the and road end end of Kurt Damon Point? Yeah. One is, is that city or is that Happy and Park? I so think like the, the road, road the one that's washed away, me. Yeah. Yeah. What so road is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. So, and then the property, you've been linking it to the privately owned now, too, right? To the right is privately owned. Yeah. So it's got all the variables right now right yeah there. i know yeah. that big lot all along the right to it just got sold mm -hmm. this last summer so. okay but so that one spot that's public access is that where the rock causeway goes through i don't know where the rock causeway is oh uh, where all the rocks are just all piled up you mean break the breaker the, like, yeah. the break right there yeah um, i know one person owns um actually all the way out to those rocks if you're so if you're looking at damon yeah. uh, where the road goes and it's all washed away if you go to the to the right and you continue to follow that down there's um, all those little mm -hmm. rentals there's one gal at the very end who owns a lot that goes all the way out to the break i mean her property line is all the way out to the break and then everybody else's ends at the sand so um when you actually are entering into that little walking path over by the um uh, marine view mm -hmm. right across from that you actually kind of crossing over her property to continue down towards the other way to Damon. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then when you get out to there, you're now onto other private property that was just bought. So yeah. it's kind of a weird, it's a very weird little spot. It, mm -hmm. It's pretty incredible on the county website. Yeah, you know, and terrible. you know those aren't even real plots. They're just, oh. you know, yeah, a grab. But it's pretty crazy. Yeah, to look at. All right. And that happened because it got washed out, right? It's, I mean, the, the people that own that uh, cove, the so little cabins or whatever, water, yeah. they own into the water. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, they're just, it's, it's yeah, and there. there's like uh, four or five owners all the way down to that entrance. They're private. Mm -hmm. So, okay. It's a thing every year. Yeah, it is a big old thing every, well, year. Every, yeah, every year. And then every time there's the king tides, I think they own a little bit more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, that's right there. And so, yeah, that one lot has private beach signs on it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it becomes a problem for her every year because people use the what is public, the walkway. Yeah. And then you can turn to the right and go down around you know kind of like where to the water treatment is all the way around there mm -hmm. but if you turn to the left and you go you're on her property but then you're not and then you aren't and then you are and then it just kind of it's like she was saying it's just really interesting so you don't really know what you're doing you know i mean people innocently enough are yeah going on. yeah okay so the next meeting is wednesday november 9th um we need a motion to adjourn at 155. 
Motion. Second. Can I ask one question? Oh, yeah. With Bob and Carol leaving town, should we take over his park duty? Why is that? Uh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to take that up? You want to? Do you want to? You want to take Emerson back? Yeah. I'll take Exmar. Okay. I'm actually writing this down. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be joining via Zoom? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, and you have Emerson. We have somebody gone for six months on the board, so that might be. Thank you for doing that. Um, yeah. Okay, so 155, motion to adjourn. I make that motion. Second. 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 Second.